Happy New Year and welcome to TSC. I hope you've enjoyed a good Christmas and New Year break. I managed to fit in a bit of shooting. I've been lucky enough to have a couple of driven days and I thought I'd take the opportunity to try and get some nice footage with this. It's the AIMCAM, a pair of shooting glasses with a built-in camera. Turns out it's not as easy as I thought. See how I got on after this. So, the AIMCAM glasses. I got these a year ago for a particular filming job and I hadn't had a chance to play around with them since. So with a couple of driven shoots over Christmas and New Year, I thought I'd give them a go. The guys at AIMCAM have brought out a new model since this one, so there's a few improvements in the new one. The basic idea is just brilliant. You've got a tiny camera mounted in the glasses frame and you can move it up and down this rail to get it centered directly over your eye. Then the camera's on an adjustable arm. So you can move it up and down and side to side so it's looking exactly along the rib. All the electronics is in here. And you've got two simple buttons for controls. This one for on and off, and this one to switch on the built-in Wi-Fi. So then you can stream what the camera's seeing to the app on your phone. That way you can make sure it's all lined up right, press the on-off button again to start recording, and away you go. Now, in real life, things are never quite so simple. The first problem I've got is that I can't see to shoot without my glasses, so I've got to wear these over the top. It's a bit clunky, but it kind of works. The latest model comes with prescription inserts, so you can have lenses built into your prescription if you need it. Then to get the camera lined up right, you have to mount the gun and look at the screen on your phone to see how it needs adjusting. Now, that's not easy to do, on your own, as I discovered, especially if you're on a peg with limited time before the drive starts. Still, I did what I could, pressed record, and hope for the best. And here's some of the results. Not half bad, really. I did run into a couple of problems which are more operator error than any fault of the glasses. The first thing is that business of lining up the camera properly. I was finding that it easily gets knocked out of position when you take the glasses off and put them in the case, so I had to realign it at the start of each drive. Sometimes I didn't do that carefully enough, so I ended up not getting the gun in the picture properly, like this one. And the other problem was when I bumped the record button accidentally. So I thought I was starting recording when I actually was stopping and vice versa. There's a little red light in here that blinks when the glasses are recording. So it should be possible to check. But I found it really hard to see with the glasses on and I didn't want to take them off to look in case I bumped the camera or put them back squiffy. I managed to miss the best drive of the day completely and then recorded 10 minutes of the inside of the case. All in all though, I thought the results were impressive when I did my bit properly. And it's really interesting to see what you're actually seeing when you're shooting. Having read the manual, I've discovered you can change the settings to give better slow motion. These are set at 1080p at 30 frames a second, but I could change that to 720p at 60 frames per second, which is lower resolution, but should look better when it's slowed down. So I'll keep practicing and let you know how I get on. Now, if you haven't seen it already, do go back and watch our program from last week when I interviewed Philippa from the TSC Academy. She was doing really well in the TSC series and even qualified for the grand final, but then discovered that she had a brain tumour. She's been through two operations and has been incredibly brave, and she's now getting back into shooting. 
I interviewed her just before Christmas, and I was blown away by her positive attitude to everything she's been through. So go back and watch that video, and do think about donating to her fundraiser for the Brain Tumor Charity, too. Now, here's my pick of the latest shooting videos on YouTube. This one's the latest from Field Sports Ireland, a spin off from Field Sports Channel, with Jason Doyle shooting pigeons over oilseed rape. There's also a segment on stalking Seeker in the Wicklow Mountains and a piece about bullet drop when you're shooting at an angle downhill. There's a link to that program in the description below. Well, that's all we've got time for now. As always, we're back on Thursday with another program. This week, David Florent is reviewing a Browning Maxus semi-auto. You can catch that one at 7.30 p.m. Thursday evening. That's UK time, of course. With the holidays behind us, the Oxford Gun Company are back on their regular opening times. So they're open this Thursday, Friday and Saturday, as usual. And there are still plenty of bargains to be had in the sale, in the shop, with massive reductions on clothing and some great deals on part exchange over and unders. So pop in and take a look. As always, do please support this channel's sponsors and tune in again on Thursday to see how David gets on with the Browning Maxis. See you then.